right, the waves are pumping. We're at Rocky Point. I decided to switch it up a little bit. I normally ride a 510. This is a 6L. So I'm gonna try it out as a shortboard right now and see how it feels. Not to do areas, but kind of just get some like big turns in because the waves still have a little bit of size. And yeah, it should be fun. If you guys want to get some This Is Living merch, there's a link in the bio of this video. Right there, click it. We got sweatshirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, stickers, whatever you guys want, towels. And yeah, like and subscribe and see you out there. Enjoy. Fun session. I need a rock really hard. Felt like a something went like straight into this like soft spot. It's sore. It was like a dead leg at first. You know, it's like hard to move your leg after it gets hit. So it felt like in my knee. And this couple was right there on the beach. I don't know if you could see him from here. I like was. I tried to crawl up the beach because I couldn't move my leg and they fully had to like help carry me up. This guy and a girl. Oh. Whatever. I'm gonna go ice it. I hope I didn't hurt it bad. I like did a little turn like right on the shore break where the rocks are and just like it felt like I had straight need a round like pinnacle of a rock just hard. I really hope it's not any like muscle or tendon damage in there. Oh, dude. That was right. a good session until then. That's four of those things. giant tide pool. All the sand is going to cause so much backwash over here right now, it's not even funny. <laughs> we got Nate on the phone, off the wall and back door, and we got sets approaching. This doesn't look like a good one, but the next one could be good. We'll see, it's got a lot of funk in it. Here we go, here's the wave. I think Rocky Point's better, Nate. Rocky Point's kind of fire. Like maximum size. Really good wave. All right, here's the plan. Since the swell is picking up and hopefully cleans up a little more and takes a bit of the funky wonk away, we're gonna wait an hour. It's 3.30 now. So, 4.30, come back, check here. If it's not doing it, we go back out to Rocky Point and rip. Or it's going to be firing out here and we get barreled at a pipeline, back door, and off the wall. The triple crown. <laughs> yeah, so let's go home, chill for a second. The sun doesn't, literally doesn't go down until like 7, 7.30. We have 
a lot of time. And this is just the first day of swell in what looks to be like over a week long worth of swell. So reconvene in an hour. We were gonna wait an hour to come back and check it, but we're gonna go check Chun's, which is just on the other side of Waimea Bay, five minutes away. I don't know, kind of random, but could be good. So we're gonna go take a look. It's no good over here. Well, Chun, Chun's is not that good, so I think best case scenario, or best option we have, Rocky Point, go rip. It's super fun. All right, so it's 4.30, we stuck to the original plan. Wait an hour, check it. It was too big for Rockies. So now we're going out to pipe and back door. I got this brand new 6.0 Ghost, and I'm kind of going out there to just rip. I'm not gonna really be looking for too many barrels because they're mostly all clamping it looks like because of the sand it's pushing like a ton of backwash out to it right now but it looks really fun to rip and a couple head dips here and there so we're gonna go have a great time the beach is huge this is a summertime beach right here it's crazy we got waves oh in a previous video i said that that possibly was gonna be our last pipe swell a couple weeks ago and i was wrong this could be our last pipe swell because we got today and tomorrow. This is a giant beach. Oh, drop it in. Do you have your GoPro with you? No. No? Ah. Uh. I got right when I got down, got out there, I was like, on my shortboard, or like, this is like a little bit of a bigger shortboard, 6.0. All of a sudden I was like, well, I probably could be using a 6.3. And it ended up working out fine. I got so pounded the first half of my session, like beyond pounded, incredibly pounded. It was a great time. Oh, pipeline beating. Today it went from like, being the most beautiful morning into the ugliest day into the nicest evening. So strange. I don't know, I'm sure this will all change soon. I think it should. I think you should be allowed to surf, but I don't think you should be able to hang out in groups on the beach. You know, just like passing. Because in the water, we're so far from each other. It might not look like it from the sand, but when you're out there, you're like, you have distance on someone because you got to be able to move a six foot surfboard like in a, any direction. So, everyone just stay safe and keep positive, you know? Just pull up to off the wall and check it. Walk up. Good. That looks pretty sick. This wax is all muddy. Let's see if I make my board slippery if I don't get it off. Okay, so here's the game plan. I'm gonna finish my coffee, put my trunks on, wax up my 6 out going out to back door and pipeline, possibly off the wall. We're gonna surf all morning 
until I get cold because I forgot my wetsuit. So I'm probably gonna have a quick session. And then once it drops, hopefully it doesn't drop too quick. We'll come back out here and surf. But if it does, I'm sure we could find somewhere else to surf that's gonna be epic. <laughs> oh man, just so you guys know at home, that session was two hours and I caught three waves. It is time for me to go surf Rockies because it dropped out here way quicker than I was expecting. And I bet Rocky Point's firing. Let's go. Sunrise Shack. All right, so we're at the Sunrise Shack, just surfed off the wall. Look at him, whoa, chill. He's coming at me. No, dude. Aggressive, they're all hungry because no one's around here feeding them. Anyway, back to what I was saying. A lot's changed. You can't sit down in the seating area. There can only be 10 people in here at a time and we're grab and go only, which means grab your food and you gotta leave. Which um, a lot of people like to come here and take photos and stuff. And I don't think that's really allowed right now. So we have these wellness shots or immunity shots, whatever you wanna call them. They're really good for you. They keep your immune system super high I have one every single day and it's really important right now to keep your immune system high to fight off things like viruses and infections and stuff so if you guys are here on island in Waikiki or North Shore both both places are open come grab wellness shot also evil and stay healthy and safe you guys so see. I'm having both of these and a coffee Social distancing, we're still allowed to surf. Six feet away at all times. That was actually a super fun rocky session. Barely anyone out. I felt like 
I haven't surfed in like a few days and I, my board felt like too fast for me and I would just fall over on some waves. But it's a good time. It's picking up right now. I think pipe and back door could have some waves it looks like from down here. So we're gonna go check it. We go keep ripping all day. We got a nice swell just hit today. I'm gonna hold the shaka all day. And it looks like the waves are gonna last for about a week. You're not allowed to hang out on the beach right now, but you are allowed to surf. So we'll be surfing. This is surfing. Let's go. We're gonna take my pole surfing with me. I'm gonna go sit out there and cast. Whoa, look at this wave. Check it out. It's good. Who's up there looking at me?